Right, next up are Mika Alapiesa and Ari Alander from Super Operator. I hope I got it right in the pronunciation. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs> How do I say your name, uh, Mika? Alapiesa? Yes, Just correct. Me. Perfect. Okay, so I'm you'll impressed. be uh, explaining about digitalization within the car wash market and what digitalization can mean for operators. Uh, we'll also talk about some examples in the Scandinavian market. Uh, Mika, can you start by explaining in short what kind of company Super Operator is? Yeah, sure, Renika. Um, I would say that we are a technology company with passion in car wash uh, industry or car wash business. So our DNA is definitely um, technology. And uh, we are also a global player. We have customers, uh, tunnel customers, rollover customers, jet bus customers uh, across the world, uh, in US, Europe, in Asia. And uh, we help to wash about 1.5 million cars a month. So we are a pretty large uh, player in this uh, uh, digital front of the car wash business. That's a lot of cars. And, and, uh, yeah, yes, and, and, and what... We, we really want to see ourselves as, as a partner for the car uh, wash operators uh, uh, in the digital transformation or uh, how they're using digital uh, to improve their businesses. Yeah, and digitalization can mean a, can mean a lot of uh, things we've, we've learned uh, today. What does super operator mean by it? Uh, we mean by, by that that uh, mm -hmm. we help to connect uh, the car wash equipment into the nets. Um, or the net into the car wash equipment. Um, so what that means is that we help, um, for instance, we help to connect the equipment uh, to, to the mobile applications, to um, any type of applications which might be in the sort of a infrastructure uh, connected to the car wash businesses. Uh, we help them, uh, equipment to be connected to other systems. For instance, if the operator is uh, having business with B2B companies, companies having fleets and so on, so we can help to connect uh, the equipment uh, into the systems, uh, for instance, from a billing point of view. Um, and, and of course, uh, we, we help to have uh, or give and remote access to these equipments, uh, which means that uh, uh, some gentleman uh, earlier was talking about predictive maintenance. Uh, we use AI, for instance, so uh, we can uh, help to predict uh, the maintenance needs, or we can we can see, for instance, uh, uh, through the sensor support, uh, for instance, the uh, um, for instance the chemical levels and so on. And does it and, matter what um, kind of hardware you're working with? Yes, uh, our solution uh, incorporates uh, hardware components. Uh, which we, we call it a, a, a bridge, and that's a bridge between analog and, and the digital world. And uh, we also work with uh, cameras uh, which are artificial intelligence empowered. So we can see, for instance, how many cars are in the queue and, and show that information to the consumers. So, uh, for instance, uh, we see that that is driving really wash count. So people tend not to come to the uh, stations uh, necessarily when there's a long queue, but uh, they, they can always be in the control of that information. They know what's going on. Yeah, what, what I meant was, is the, is the system compliable with a machine from Washtech or from Christ or from AVW? Is it, does it work with all sorts of hardware? Absolutely. Does that matter? Absolutely. We, we, we are agnostic in terms of its... Uh, um, uh, which, which, the, which manufacturer is actually doing the, the, the equipment. And, and we have to be, because if you take, for instance, you take the operators, they're typically working with uh, 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 many uh, car wash uh, equipment uh, manufacturers. So, so agnost uh, being agnostic is, is really important for us. Yeah. Uh, so digitalization can help with the sort of transformation in the, in the, in the car wash uh, industry. Uh, why do you yes. think that transformation is necessary? Uh, it's absolutely necessary because uh, consumers are expecting it, and, and it give, gives also uh, such a, uh, interesting opportunities for the operators, for instance, to innovate with their business models. For instance, uh, 
uh, we can help them to find a ways to sell extra capacity to maybe other networks or we can help them to uh, create uh, new pricing models which help to maximize the wash count um, and 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 also uh, you know we can help you really to uh, improve the user experience and user experience can be the convenience as, as uh, said by the, the gentleman from Wastech but it, it, it could be mean also other things like personalization. For instance, if you're driving a, a very nice car, so maybe you want to have a post program which is tailored for your car model and type. Right. I have a question for Ari as well. Uh, the first digital car wash in the world is in Finland. Uh, what is so special about this location? So first of all, um, uh, I have to say that we started the, the car uh, through application already in June 2015. And, and, and in fact, the special comes from the fact that we were not supposed to do it. Because initially we were uh, having a software that we, <laughs> we tried to sell to the car washing industry. But nobody wanted to buy at that time, you know. We were far too early for the business and we had to build our own network. And, and that's why we did it in, in 2015. And in fact, at that time it was it felt strange but at the end that was probably the best thing for us because we had to build up uh, the software for ourselves and by the same learn the business uh, how 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 this car washing industry is working so you know we were doing the both things building the software running the operations and and that's a good good uh, combination to do something uh, great for the market yeah, so uh, you, you, you were too early, uh, you said? Uh, yeah, but still still surviving and living, so no problem. Yeah, so the, time, so the time is right. Is the time right now? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, do you think Scandinavia is a front runner when it comes to digitalization? Mm, yeah, basically there are a couple of things. So in fact, in Scandinavia, we used to have very good um, web connections, unlimited uh, Wi-Fi subscriptions, and then we have to remember the, the history you know, Nokia, Ericsson, uh, they, they were Scandinavian brands and we used to have the mobile phones there very, very early age. And, and you know, by that, I have to say that we are early adapters with, with new technology. So, so by that, that's true. Yeah, Nokia was also Finnish, I think, right? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Uh, Mika, uh, digitalization can help you gather lots of data. The question all is, right. what do you do with all that data? Uh, what do we do as a company with the data? So there's two aspects to this. Uh, what operators do with that data? And, and that's, that's one area we are focusing on because that, that, that data can help them to optimize their business. Uh, when they have all the data about the consumers, uh, they, they can really, uh, and, and that data can be overlaid with um, data, for instance, uh, Weather, weather forecast and so on, so they can optimize uh, how many people they need in the station uh, to help the client. So that's one angle. Um, we, uh, because we, we have a, such a high volume of uh, these transactions from different countries, so we can create very interesting benchmarks, uh, for instance, uh, when we are consulting our customers or, or our, our prospects, so we, we can easily look, for instance, like, okay, what, what, how do you perform? How is your business performing versus maybe some others uh, in general in, 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 the, in this, this specific market? Uh, so, the, so, so the data is key. Um, I, I think these businesses will become more and more data-driven uh, as we go along. Yeah, and you've also said that uh, user experience is key in staying relevant as a car wash uh, operator. Absolutely. And experience Absolutely. is not just lit lights and lava foam and uh, uh, making, uh, making it look good. What role does digitalization have in customer experience? Um, so digitalization, for instance, if you talk about, and we spoke about earlier here, a uh, very interesting presentation about sustainability. So we could uh, actually show what happens in the program itself in terms of sustainability. And or, or maybe the consumers could choose a program which consumes less uh, water or, or chemicals. And we could show actually how much water or chemical they save. 
So there's there's an awful lot of um, um, you know we can do in terms of uh, customer experience, and and we we talk actually about customer experience or we talk about customer journeys. So what happens before people come to the bus station? You know what? How do we communicate with them? And then how do we communicate after they have a, a cleaned their car? Do we give them a voucher, for instance, that they can have a cup of coffee, or do we give a, a, a discount uh, for the next? Uh, uh, next program. So there's there's a lot we can do working together with operators on improving the customer experience. Yeah, so that's how Super Operator helps. Absolutely. How does the how does the system work? How do uh, our system works? And what's your secret? <laughs> I, I think our secret is that, um, um, as I said, uh, you know, like uh, we were also an operator or we became an operator out of necessity. So we had to sort of learn to eat our own dog food, if you know the expression. So um, I, I think we have very sort of a pragmatic way of looking at technology, even if the technology is super complex. We always look at it from the point of view how we can help the operators. So we, we try to make that pretty complex technology very easy to use, easy to adapt, easy to implement for our operator customers. Yeah. Um, this is not just something for new car washes, right? So you can also uh, use the super operator system for existing uh, locations. What are Absolutely. The, what are the first steps if you're, if you're still an analog uh, car wash? Uh, I would say call Ari, and Ari will explain. Maybe Ari will explain now uh, as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ari, yeah. please explain. So, uh, yeah, I think that's that's the first step. You know, let's have a consultation. Let, let's see how is your business model and what we can do with it because uh, we have so many uh, different models that we can we can implement. And you just have to remember uh, the basic things that our technology is working with all the brands. It can run different kind of equipment, starting from tunnels, rollovers, jet washes, dock washes, all, all, all this kind of thing. And then one thing that we have learned uh, from the customer is that the Q camera feature, that is super important element because it's giving um, the customer the possibility to choose when to go. And that is giving uh, customer satisfac satisfaction level high. And at the same time, you can have high volume in, in washes. So it's... It's very important thing. Okay, one little remark here because I know that there might be washing tunnel customers also. So in washing tunnel, when you have a have a nice system, maybe this Q camera is nice to have feature. But for the rollover business, it's it's really super important feature to to have both parties customer happy and and uh, volumes high. Right. So we have a viewers question coming in, Niels. Yes, uh, we've got a question from Enora. She's asking, how safe is digitalization? What about hacking? So. Um, sorry, could you repeat the question? I, yes. I the que couldn't hear. The question was, how safe is digitalization? And what about hacking the system? Uh, of course, you know, the, the, the security is one of the key things, uh, you know, when, when you are watching like 1.5 million cars a month uh, or help to watch through the system, you need to look at these kind of things. So security is, um, and, and data privacy, by the way, nowadays, is they are absolutely key for any kind of successful system. Okay. So that's, uh, that's covered. With the super operator. So we got another question. Absolutely. And the other question we got, um, what are the limits of digitalization? Are there any limits? I think they, exactly, the imagination. I, I think we are just starting the journey uh, or the, the industry is just learning to understand what digitalization can do for them and how it can improve the business. And, and, and it's the same if you look at the, the car industry. The, the, that's exactly what's happening there, how digitalization is actually uh, changing the whole industry. And, and that's what we are seeing starting to happen in this industry as well. Yeah, uh, COVID, I think, has sped up the whole process of digitalization. Um, for instance, with cashless payments or paying by a washing app, so there's no contact between the operators and the, and the customers. 
Um, and my next question also uh, uh, is similar to, to that of Neil. So what will the future hold? Where, where is this going? In, within the next five years, maybe, or within the next year? Um, I, I, I think it's, it's uh, of course, the, the, the cashless uh, payment and, and the, the safety uh, in terms of pandemics and so on has been a bit major driver. But uh, I, I think the car was, we hope that we can make it so easy, so convenient that people even don't think about it. You know, it, it's it's just uh, part of the service, like any other service we experience, digital service, and and everything is 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 done in the background, and the payment systems, uh, the experiences personalized, and 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 I think we are starting to see uh, these car wash services bundled in the other services. For instance, um, insurance companies, car fleets, uh, credit card companies, and so on. So definitely that's, that's where we see this, uh, this is going. All right. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us, uh, Mika and Ari. Um, if you want thank to, you very much. Yeah. Th uh, if you want to discuss the topic further with uh, the guys from Super Operator, please look them up under Exhibitors. You can schedule a meeting uh, with both Ari or Mika, or you can use the chat function to ask your questions.